From seed to plate, avocados are in hot demand. Nurseries, cafes and garden stores alike are struggling to keep up with New Zealanders' desire for the fruit. People are having to wait up to two years for an avocado tree. And the number of trees being grown in nurseries has jumped from 30,000 to 200,000 in the last five years. Miriana Johnson reports. Smashed avocado on toast or a side of guac are usually on offer at the flight coffee hangar in Wellington. The assistant manager, Louise Metalka, says they quickly sell out. Sometimes we put like a guacamole special on, for example, and it's like selling out super fast. Yeah, people, people definitely love the avocado. <laughs> but Miss Metalka says the fruit is too expensive, especially in off-season. Because they are off-season at the moment, we actually had to take them off our menu because we had to charge twelve fifty for a side dish of avocado, um, which is like way too pricey, so we just decided to take them off. As the weather warms up, Miss Metalka says avocados should be back on the menu soon. Avocado has become a hot commodity with the police recently arresting three people in relation to a spate of avocado thefts in Tauranga. And it's not just there, thefts have been reported in Tepuke, Welcome Bay, Bethlehem, Tipuna and Katikati. The New Zealand Avocado Chief Executive Jen Schooler says demand doesn't appear to be slowing down. Recently three more nurseries have sprung up to service the need for new trees. The, the two large nurseries we've got have done fantastically in terms of increasing their capability. Although saying that, we've had a couple of years where there has been a two-year a two waiting list to get trees. Miss Schooler says more land is being converted to avocado orchards and existing orchards are also planting more trees. More people are also turning up at garden centres wanting to plant their own avocado trees. King's Plant Barns e-commerce manager Billy Aiken says demand for avocado trees has roughly tripled in the last three years. One of the big things that changed last year was we actually had a new type of avocado come on the market which is called Cleopatra. It's a dwarf avocado and it's the first actual dwarf one that's been available and so last year that was by far our biggest seller and just the sales for that variety alone were roughly equal to 2015. But Mr Aiken warns it can take two to three years before people can start enjoying their homegrown fruit. And they can't grow everywhere. Jen Schooler says the New Zealand climate isn't ideal. It's the, the wonderful dream of having an orchard that's as beautiful as an avocado orchard with its big glossy green leaves and wonderful flowers in the spring and being able to produce this amazing fruit. But there's the realities of being a horticulturalist where we are very much influenced by weather and climate and soil. The best areas to grow avocados are in the Northland and Gisborne regions. Miss Schooler says anyone thinking of growing avocados needs to do their research first. For Checkpoint, call Mediana Johnson TNA.